Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're going to take the 599 over to Authentic Details and get it detailed and put a PPF on it. Oh, and by the way, that's Carrie. Oh my gosh, that's going to be awesome. So right now, Carrie's car, his 458, which he bought, shipped to Austin, then straight to Authentic Details, got some PPF work done and stuff. He really hasn't been able to see his car that he bought for eight weeks? Eight weeks. How are you, how are you holding up, Carrie? Terrible. My <laughs> wife's about to shoot me. <laughs> I'm gonna drive really slow just to torture him. No! <laughs> I can't take it. Alright, let's go out into details. So, are you recording all of the nefarious activities? Aw, oh, you missed your baby. Yes. Look at that, look at that smile. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is the man who did most of the work, probably. Did you? Actually, Abby did uh, most oh. of the work on this one, yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, uh, I saw his daughter working There's on the it. man! Oh. The man! Hello. How, How are, are you, sir? Big All sexy. Right. Big sexy <laughs> has arrived yeah. on set. I'm sure you couldn't hear the, the exhaust. No, I didn't hear anything. Some, I heard like a Honda Civic drive it's by. Oh! It sounds pretty terrible. It yeah. needs the next pipe so bad. <laughs> like, I'm kind of disappointed with how it sounds. Really? But yeah. Well, you don't have to rev it for me. I got down the floorboard. Somebody was going to see me. Yeah. Oh, it's it's right. almost that, that bad. Oh, that awesome. It's that bad. You should be aware. If you take a car to Brad, you're immediately going to be like, my baby's ugly. I might make you feel bad. Because <laughs> yeah, he immediately, yeah. immediately just starts looking at the car. He's like, oh, what the? What, oh, oh, look at this. To be fair, he also said, oh, it's going to look so awesome when we're done with it. So it makes you feel a little better. But good lord, man, I just found out how much crap's wrong with this thing. Let's point out everything wrong with it now. I'm looking at what I'm, what I'm going to be able to make look better. Oh, okay. That's more good. More than anything. I like that. And these lights just show everything. Yeah. Unfortunately for the car. Unfortunately. Unfortunately for me. So where your next buyer looks at it and goes, man, this car is amazing. It's true. It's We're gonna make well it, uh, I'm going to be sad to sell it. You can take it down to the Kmart for the cruise in if you want everybody to tell you how great it looks. <laughs> or bring it here and find out what it needs. Oh, uh, jeez. You aren't helping, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> That's not helpful. What else for Yeah, fun? I guess to get this Vorsteiner kit to to match, and because it's red, they pretty much had to paint the whole side. Yeah, no, they, they definitely painted the car. The whole car had to get resprayed. Yep, because you can tell it's not Ferrari paint. It's uh... Or is it? Well, yeah. <laughs> That's the question. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You can see the carbon fiber weave through. Yeah, the, yeah. It's thin enough. Mm -hmm. Through the paint. Although it's got like s scratches and... Yeah, all those will come out. Yeah. That's it's something we have to watch out for right there. What? Is there a ridge? Just looks like it might be delaminating just a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which is fine, but if we film it and, yeah, and lift pull. it off, it could pull. Carbon fiber is notorious for doing that too. I don't know why. What's the uh, overall prognosis? I think the only thing that's going to be hard to make look good is this this area right here where those things are yeah it's kind of like how your 458 was you know how you had that yeah yeah kind of dry spot clear coat spray on it well at least it's not a super noticeable spot no I won't, I won't be able to make that look too much better than it looks already yeah i mean it's all nothing's too crazy man i think we can make it all look really good sweet just scratches and swirls which is that's easy to fix typical stuff i mean i say easy this probably be two or three days of polishing just to get it all perfect smells about right oh yeah it's gonna pop when it's done yes the red's gonna look a lot brighter for sure i know you guys like do so like you have templates and stuff but this one clearly because we have aftermarket everything there's no template so how does that work well so in situations like that it's going to come down to installer skill more than anything you've got to do these customs so <laughs> jeff has the skill um so you can't use a pattern i mean it's just it doesn't there's no like this bumper for example there, there is no pattern yeah. you can't computer cut it like you saw us do on your on the like these four five eights there's patterns for every part of the car so the way we do this is you got to lay the piece down and just start hand cutting every every line that you want to, to where you want the film to end so that you have a, a fully covered install once you start working on the car and laying down the film you have to just kind of read where the film wants to lay down and where it doesn't if you try to overstretch or manipulate the material too much you'll have film that wants to try to come back up or it's just not going to look good if we can hide a seam we will we'll roll them on edges you know, we'll put, maybe put one here, 
we can so that everything's just looks like one piece. And then the way Jeff does the seams is they're they're super tight, so you can't yeah. really tell that they're there. Something so. that is really important to note about any custom installation, just make sure that you do a lot of background research before anybody just tells you that they are capable of doing any sort of com custom install because there is risk involved. A lot of the scoring of the film that you do, it's while the film is on top of the paint. If somebody does not know how to properly handle a blade, you can run into, especially on a car like this, a lot of really expensive problems. So you see right here? No, this one right here. It goes this wonky line. Oh yeah, I don't know if I'll show up on camera. Let me see. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little tiny line. It's like a dark line right where his fingernail is. And that is apparently a cut mark. Yeah, you... Oh wow, yeah, yeah. When you look at just the right angle, it's pretty severe. We're looking definitely nerve-wracking to do, but... So don't come over here and be like, Hey Jeff! Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah, no sudden <laughs> movements, no yeah. jumping on the car. There, there's kind of a, a known, a known rule when someone's cutting on a car. You, you just, you don't mm -hmm. ask any questions. You leave them alone. You certainly don't slam a door on the same car they're Ooh. cutting on. Ooh. That's happened before. Oh. So a lot of times Jeff will have his headphones on. And yep. Just, you know, yep. Get in the in. zone. Um, like this bumper would take someone, I don't know, two and a half, three hours to do, to do well. With, yeah. With a kit, this bumper might take two or three days. Yeah. Do well. So obviously, custom work like this costs substantially more than a easy peasy template. I mean, yeah. I shouldn't say easy because it's still hard, but easier. Yep. All right. Big difference between the two. So it's good to know if you're interested in doing that and you get crazy aftermarket stuff and you want to protect it, just be ready for the cost. Yeah, like Richard's uh, Testarossa was. That was all custom. Custom, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every every panel on that car we did had to be done by hand. But if it's done right, I mean, you've seen Richard's car. Oh, it looks can't fantastic. See an edge. You know, it just looks like it's not even there. Yeah. And that's our mission when we're doing film is like, how do we make it look invisible so that someone on really close inspection will say, there's no way there's film on that car. And that's what we aim for. This one's going to look good, I think, when it's done. I hope so. I, I believe in you, <laughs> both of you. <laughs> uh, it will, man. Yeah, we'll make it great. Eventually. <laughs> We're back at Authentic Details and it's already been polished up. So the paint correction's done and now we're gonna start doing the PPF. So he just prepped the car, got it all nice and clean because he can't have any dirt on it to put a PPF on it. So we're gonna get it inside there and Jeff, the master, is it's gonna make it protected. We need some protection. Backing up F1 transmissions, trying to be precise, is not easy. Aw, it's a wee little blower. Yeah. All right, Jeff, what are we doing? We are prepping this bad boy. Ah, uh, clay bar? This is some traditional clay. So you've been cleaning, 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 basically. And now one last cleaning effort. All right. Straight material, there's no pattern. Right, it's just a big square, a big rectangle. Well, take a guess where we're at. 
Yeah, we're back at Authentic Details again. Oh, by the way, go visit AuthenticDetails.com and mention my channel to get 10% off. But they're gonna do the hood today. So I came back for that because the hood looks like it's gonna be an absolute pain in the ass. And he actually has to cut the PPF by hand, which takes a lot of skill, something I would never try because I'm not gonna ruin my car. But this man can do this. All right, so we're gonna try and pop off the, the logo, which apparently is only held on by adhesive. Yes, sir. Doesn't look like it's held on very well either. Probably not. It's all right, we'll fix that. Oh yeah, that was yeah, that, was, that not. was not gonna stay very long. Oh my god. <laughs> Good thing we're doing this. It's just quality control. That's all we're doing. Wow. There we go. That was not too bad. Oh, it's all dirty. So just polishing up the vent. Wee little polisher. All right, clay barring. So you just used a solvent, and now you're doing rubbing alcohol? Yes, sir. This is uh, pure alcohol. It's my last step in the cleaning process. I'm just stripping anything that's on the surface. I want it to be 100% clean so that it bonds properly. Spray sealant? Yeah, it, um, I put this on any of the points that I want to kind of move more freely. It gives me a little bit more time during my install. Okay. Ooh, it smells good. Before I pull out the big kahuna to do the whole hood, I'm going to use a small piece that's going to kind of give me an idea to go around the vent because I want to know my plan of action before I go installing that vent. Sure. I'm just trying to find where I want to put reliefs and where I can get away with laying the material in. Right here, I'm going to have to put a relief just because it's such a tight yeah, area. Yeah. You know, if I was to try and do this without any relief, I would end up with a ton of what's called work marks just because you're pressing that material down so hard. And you usually have to use heat while you do that. I just now I know after years to go for, um, you know, the install that's going to last, that's going to be safest. So. Satisfied or not? Yeah, uh, I think I got a plan. Nice. You know, this this saves me from having to wonder. Well, I've got that giant sheet of material. Yeah. So. Yeah. Now you only have to throw away that little thing instead of a big piece. It's a lot less painful. really impressive well so those are all rough cuts yeah yeah it's obviously gonna get trimmed up and stuff it's, it's already looking good eventually okay it's been a few more days and it is done and holy crap you need to see this holy shit I mean this seriously <laughs> okay we, they were pointing out the biggest thing immediately is the headlights I didn't even realize how terrible the headlights looked before because the old film was cloudy and kind of cracking apart. And now, it, I mean, it looks seriously like a brand new headlight. It is so clear, just unbelievable. But look at this. This is all protected. 
<laughs> oh my god jeff is amazing you are the man this looks so good you can't see any of the edges it looks so glossy now holy crap wow all the swirl marks are gone no longer looks like uh, people have been playing with scotch pads near the car it's really hard to see but like right there you can see is two different pieces kind of meeting but it is so tight i don't even know if it shows up on camera you can just barely see it with the naked eye jeff is this the hardest car you've done i don't know about hardest but it was definitely a headache top three top, five top ten top I'll ten top oh 10. damn all right all right i was i was hoping to make your life the most miserable but i, I failed I'll wait till the next car you bring. In. I mean, That's you know, <laughs> especially with this 10 mil film, it's just a lot thicker. So it doesn't quite want to lay down in some of the hard curves like it would with standard film. And so I did kind of have to make some compromises so that the film isn't going to lift up with heat or things like that. For instance, like deep in this cavity right here, I had it tucked up further down in here. And when I walked in the, the next morning, that film is so thick that it had actually separated from the adhesive just due to the tension on it. Oh my gosh. Um, so I just made a safe call and sort of relieved where it stops. Um, it still looks really good. It's still underneath. You just have to kind of think longevity with things like that. I think it looks a million times better now. Oh, with unbelievable. It looks like a totally new car. Brad. Jeff's a stud. You guys are the shit. <laughs> I have, I've been saying it over and over. There's literally no one else I trust with my cars other than you guys. So again, if you need work from these guys, go to authenticdetails.com, mention my channel, you get 10% off. Dan, and there's no one else I trust with your cars but us. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, inc I mean, seriously, it looks totally different now. I, I, I know the camera doesn't show it, but it truly is just spectacularly different. It's the same with your 458 when we did the oh. film. It just, the red just, it pops. Like it's yeah, that so, people, so people loud. literally said on camera, they're like, it looks better yeah, it on makes camera. makes a big difference, man. Especially that 10 mil. We always say it's like putting 10 clear coats on your car. It's yeah. that thick, you know, so it just makes the color just look so much richer. Yeah, I need to get this out in sunlight and take some pictures and Instagram the shit out of it. Cause yeah. wow. I now feel proud to like have it, you know, like before it was kind of like, eh, I got an ugly turd. <laughs> Not anymore, man. No, it's anymore. beautiful. Thank you so much. Of course. All you guys. And yeah, I know you did all, you did all the paint correcting and damn, <laughs> yeah. that was a. It was a, yeah, it was a little trashed, but we're back, <laughs> back in business. Yes. Thank Sorry. you. All right. We're back home. The 599 is back in the garage and oh my Lord, just looking around now that I've got all the lights on it. It just looks so, so good. Authentic details killed it absolutely killed it seriously it looks like a totally new car it's just amazing how much of a difference it makes just having it done right and now i can drive it safely without having paint chips and all that stuff on the whole front clip so the road trip's gonna be epic so yes if you didn't already know again we are going to be converting this into a manual transmission and then taking it on a 3,000 mile road trip to colorado October 3rd through October 10th. So if you wanna see the car in person and you're in the Colorado area, I'll be publishing the route or at least some of the destinations and you could probably meet us at one of the hotels. This will be out there in Colorado having fun along with the uh, so far nine other Ferraris. I know you guys wanna see more work on this car. So don't forget, we got tons of car stuff coming up. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet. Faster. 